Hey everyone, this is Randy Malden with Supply Leaders Academy, RFX Academy, and your CPSM certification training expert. And today I want to share with you LinkedIn, the right strategy so you can get the most from your LinkedIn experience. If you're not on LinkedIn, this is a problem. You need to be on LinkedIn because this is where all the professionals go to find opportunities with you as well as for you to go find opportunities with other professionals. So what I'm going to do is go over a short strategy on what you should be doing to make sure you're getting the most from LinkedIn. At the very end, I'm going to give you the opportunity to join our LinkedIn training course so that you can see exactly what you need to do so you can save a whole lot of time trying to get LinkedIn right and get it right right from the beginning. Okay, so let's just go through the strategy real quick and then I'll share with you more how to get involved in our course. First thing you want to do is optimize your profile. Your profile needs to share with people exactly what you do and the experiences that are relevant, that are relevant to the opportunities that you want. And whether you're a consultant or whether you're a professional looking for a promotion or looking for a new opportunity, you don't need to have things in there that don't speak to the opportunities that you're seeking. In other words, the fact that you were a mascot at your high school football team doesn't matter on LinkedIn if it does not apply to the opportunities that you're seeking. Okay, so you want to make sure to optimize your profile. And in our course, we show you exactly how to optimize your profile the right way so you get those opportunities that you're looking for. Next, we're going to do is ask for endorsements and recommendation from people who know you. The benefit of these recommendations these endorsements are because these may not be faked by anyone. They're created by people who are on LinkedIn. So people can go and check out the people who gave you those recommendations to make sure they're real people. They may know them. They may also have the opportunity to, you know, connect with you in a way. So they're going to ask for those recommendations. So definitely go out and ask for those recommendations when you import your contacts, which we're going to show you how to do in our LinkedIn course. Then that's what we're going to do. We're going to show you how to import those contacts. You're going to send an email or a LinkedIn connection first, connect with them, and then go and ask them, say, hey, I did a great job for you. Tell everyone on LinkedIn and they'll write a recommendation for you and it'll give you more credibility on your LinkedIn profile. Next is you're going to quick, consistently share high quality content. When I say consistently, it means simply that, consistently. So whether you do it once a day, once a week, once a month, somehow share something on LinkedIn. That means you go on LinkedIn, check your in-mail, make sure it's, you know, any message you had, you respond to those, check what those are, connect with folks that you need to connect with, and then find an article or something cool and share it, you know, and that'll show that you're engaged and finding the right things to share with your network and people are going to find that interesting and then they're going to share things with you as well really neat fairly th simple thing to do next you want to do is locate your target prospects these are the people that you want to work with for those future opportunities these are folks that are looking for you people that are looking to connect with you very specifically so locating your target prospects and setting up your profile go hand in hand you want to make sure you know who you want to connect with so you can set up your profile to speak to that person. So the difference is between tomato and tomato. You're saying the same thing, but how you say it is how it's going to resonate with your target prospects. So you want to make sure you set up your profile correctly. Next, you're going to initiate contact with a personal message. Now, a lot of people say you need to write something interesting you gotta read their profile and, and and make it all you know mushy mushy I, I don't go with that it's basically a very simple connection hey my name's randy i'm looking to connect with procurement professionals like you do you want to connect it shows some kind of connection you don't have to go all in depth unless you really have an in-depth connection with the person a long-term relationship that you want to leverage or say hey i know so and so you know, and they suggested that I contact you. There's several different strategies to do that. And we go through those when we talked with our, with our LinkedIn course, we talked about how do you connect with people in the right way so that you build your network, a high quality network. Next thing you're gonna do is engage in meaningful conversation. So once you connect with them, you're gonna ask them questions or offer them solutions or resources based on problems that they're having or things that they're trying to connect with. So these are the things you wanna do, engage in meaningful conversation. And by doing that, you're going to build your relationship. You're gonna build the relationship that eventually will lead you to take the relationship offline 
into your own personal communication, into your business communication, somehow you're going to go ahead and move it offline because you know now it's a good thing for us to do. See, LinkedIn is about professionals connecting for professional reasons. They're not gonna connect for personal reasons. And if they are, you can simply unfollow, unconnect, and they're no longer in your life, which is one of the wonderful things about LinkedIn is that if you wanna talk with someone, great. If you don't, that's okay too. You can remove them. You can remove them from your, your, your LinkedIn life and they can go on doing other things and you don't have to be bothered with them anymore. So that's one of the reasons you want to be on LinkedIn is that you have that ability to connect with people you want to connect with and then also have that ability to disconnect from people who are not being professional for you in your own LinkedIn network. So those are the things you want to understand. And in our LinkedIn course, which I'm going to share with you, that's where we go in and we give you very detailed instructions on what you need to do. So go ahead and click this link below. It'll share with you more about our LinkedIn training so that you can take it to the next level on LinkedIn.